What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. One of the benefits of the Studio1Tutorials premium membership now is every type of beat video that I do on YouTube, I'm going to be adding the, uh, the MIDI files and the audio samples from those lessons into the Studio1 private Dropbox for you guys to, you know, go ahead come back to uh get the arrangements from get the you know get the samples get the sounds and have and start building up a uh, you know a midi library and why that is important is imagine if you had um you know all these tutorials on how to make this type of beat this type of beat this type of beat and then when you wanted to go back and do it you could just drag the midi from the drums of this type of beat and then all you got to do is change a couple things put your samples on top of it boom now you're a tight beat factory but anyway what i want to show you guys today is um this is a video I've been ducking for a while because I just I just don't understand why you guys want to see it. I've done this video like 14 times and I'm going to do it again. Um, this is going to be uh, my, you know, my current template. I for the life of me, I don't understand why this interests you guys so much, but it does. So as you can see, when I uh, when I go to click new song, um, all of my user templates are up right so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen templates that i work off fifteen i don't have one template that i work off of all the time um these two templates are for like latin trap this template is for te is for um creating drums this template is for using the npc live this one's for using machine uh mix bus template is for mixing um this template is uh making trap with sound oracle drums uh these are two these are two arrangement templates that i have this was for like six nine type beats uh this one thanks davy this is my current like go-to template i have my trap template and then ultra nova is the template i use when i'm using outboard synths so um the whole reason why i do not and do not ask me do not put it in the comments i will mute you from my channel forever don't do this the reason why i do not share these templates with you is because um and maybe you know and maybe i'm maybe i'm not a smart guy for doing this maybe i'm overestimating people but the whole point of this is to show you guys how to make templates so you can make your own templates that's the that's the whole point of it um because as you can see in my workflow the ability to make templates is very important so um one thing you want to you want to keep in mind is that when you create a template uh and it, before you guys hit my email talking about i made a template and i can't find it anymore please help like you have to make sure that you uh have user template selected because you're a user you're not a style right and you're not an interface either you're a user so that's that's where all your templates are going to be stored so um this is my this is probably my most used template i don't really make beats inside of studio one anymore i use the um <clears throat> you know I'm, I'm using the npc right now for that uh what i do create a lot inside of studio one is loops and whatnot so i have i have a certain sound set a certain template um th that i use off of that and we were bringing it up right now if uh if ozone if ozone eight agrees and it did <laughs> come on come on load it up load it up yeah this is this is quite the uh quite the buffet of sounds oh it's coming i could all right here it is bam okay so one thing that you'll notice that is this, this, <clears throat> that is different from uh from my last template tutorial is when 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 you open up the um the mixer and the arrange window now i have i have everything packed into folders 
And that's because with my with my template, um, if I did not have everything packed into folders, this is it. This is this is the template fully exposed. You know, you can't even. <laughs> I mean, dude, look at all these, look at all these tracks. You would get, you would get lost in this. And on top of that, I don't always use everything that is within the template, right? So um, the first thing that you'll notice is that, is that the effects have their own folder now. And the way that I got those is when you go onto one of these channels and you um, select uh, edit volume automation, it'll make an effects channel pop up in the arrange window. And that allowed me to highlight all of these and click um right click on it and it's uh where is it uh this this feature pack folder and that allowed me to put all of these channels into a folder and then when i collapse it you see you see all of those channels disappear from the mixer and that's really what this is all about because i didn't like having to scroll through all of this you know just to mix a beat with six sounds in it right um so when I go ahead and I collapse all these folders, you see that everything just fits together so perfectly, so neat and so nice. And then you can also, um, what's it called? You could take these and open them up from the actual mix window. Super cool. Um, so let's start with drums in, inside in inside inside my drums folder i have i have my i you know i have my go to 808 that i use uh this is the 808 i use on every song it rarely changes um and then i have kick snare snare two for that you know to do the dodgy snare i have i have a clap i don't always use a clap on every beat but rather than having to change um you know, because I, I take the I take the snares, the snares are from a snare folder. There's no claps in the clap folder. So rather than having to go into here, find the clap folder, drag it in, I've already got this function done. And the whole point of having templates is so you can take the things that you do in every session and make those things only have to be done once, right? So every session you need drums. So why would you drag in drums for every single session? Like that's just, that's a that's a ridiculous, tedious waste of time. You could just do it once. On top of that, I've loaded patterns um, so that I have access to the step sequencer in every single one of these. Cause if you think about it, you know, this is all about saving time. So um, I'm saving time from constantly dragging drums and I'm saving time from having to double click and put the patterns in. I know you guys that are like coming over from Fruity Loops and stuff like that. You don't care, like you're used to clicking your whole session away i don't like clicking a bunch of shit dude i like to um you know go in on the atom go in on the keyboard i don't want to be using my mouse a bunch um so on top of that we have the you know i have the band bus right and the band the band bus is it's carrying my uh midi to my hardware and then i have midi to my soft synths now my soft synths these are the sounds that i always you know that i always wind up using i can make any type of music off of this i have uh i have an electric piano the stage three from arturia i have the dx7 um you know super late 80s early 90s fm synth that that I like I have the the fake profit um, the Selena strings I have um, I have one Omnisphere and it's gonna take forever to load um, and then I have contact five for you know different contact libraries and then I have analog lab which is like it, it's like the it's like low-key contact for for the arteria stuff right so I don't have to um, if there's something I, I can't, I can't achieve with like stage DX seven and, um, um, profit, I could just go into analog lab and find it real quick right there. Instead of going into the instruments tab and having to grab the actual VST, if it comes to a point where like, say I want to make the whole beat with Omnisphere, you know, I could take, I, I could take all of these, um, click them, remove tracks and instruments, you know, if this is going to be like just a straight Omnisphere beat. And then I can go ahead, hold down Alt and drag and duplicate these tracks. And the thing that I like about this feature is when I do that, it preserves my routing to my band bus, right? So those are still, those are still all routed into this folder. You know, all these Omnispheres pop up and it's, and it's the same thing. That's really cool. Um, 
so and you can just go ahead and, and you know if you don't if you don't like the way that works you can just undo all that the next thing the next thing that's in my um that's in my template is is the samplers uh section so i have i have two instances of serato sample loaded at any time um in case you know just in case i want to sample these plugins um sitting idle without any audio loaded in the in the daw it takes up like a very negligible amount of cpu so i just have them there and one thing that they work great for is if for example if i have um say i have like uh you know say i had a sample that i was using inside of the beat and i wanted to i, I wanted to um extract the midi um I wanted to extract the MIDI to utilize the ghost note a feature so that I could draw along with the 808. Um, these channels is what I is what I would go ahead and drag um, drag the MIDI to because there's no samples loaded on it, which means there's not going to be any audio played, so I don't have to worry about um, you know any type of any type of muting whatsoever. And then I could go up here to my 808 and simply you know find um, find serato sample two, bring it up now i have the ghost notes to the midi track and i could go ahead and trace you know and trace my 808s um to follow uh to follow along with the sample right so that so that it all so that it all like plays in key where did my where did my sample go i was like hey see easy stuff right and then that way you don't have the melodyne running on this sample the whole time and you can go ahead you go ahead and draw your melodies with the ghost notes in the background right super easy That's that. That's the whole. Uh, that that's the hidden benefit of having those <clears throat> those VSTs that don't have any output um, engaged within the session, right? I know it's a pretty it's a pretty advanced template, but it's just like the more that the more that I've grown and the more stuff that I've added into into the feature set, um, the easier you know the more the more possible the more possible tasks i would have to undertake and i try to keep those as minimal as possible because if i don't if i don't have these tools readily available i might not use them and that would keep me you know that would that might keep me from different creative processes and that's not what you want um another tab that i have is called vox and the vox tab these are different these are different um sample one libraries i mean not sample one libraries different sample libraries that i've imported into sample one so that i could quickly i could quickly just go through um the browsing of these because i use a lot of vocal chants in my beats so i've got my favorite vocal libraries easily be able to switch and audition them and they're all here on deck ready to go again a bunch of sample ones that aren't playing samples um, loaded into your session is not going to bog down your CPO. This is probably the tab that everybody um, <clears throat> is the most interested in. This is the cheat codes tab, and all cheat codes is is, the, is this is the MIDI tool. People see the word cheat codes and they get they get all excited, right? So all I've got here is I've got Scalar set up. I've got I've got Easy Keys um, for when I want to use that. I've got Cthulhu for when I want to use that, and then I have Loop Cloud um, whenever I want to you know monitor something that I'm playing from uh, Loop Masters. 
easy stuff. And that is, you know, that that is the that is the long and short of of the template. This is my current template. This is what I'm using. It enables me to, you know, if I want to do sound design, I could do sound design. If I want to if I want to create loops, I can create loops. If I want to create full beats, I can create full beats. Um, if I wanted to, this is the question a lot of you guys ask that really like, bro, like, like it's not that deep. Like people be asking like, yo, what if I wanted to, um, you know, what if I wanted to use these, you know, this, this busing for, uh, you know, for a vocal session, you know, how do I do that? I mean, my guy, all you got to do is just take and, um, just take all this shit. And delete it you know just take just take everything all right from here to here except for the effects tracks and remove selected tracks and it'll get you know it'll it'll clear the deck and then let me see let me see let me see then you're gonna have to you know remove the instruments I should have did remove selected tracks and instruments next time. Next time, that's what you do. But that'll that'll get rid of the channels out of the um, out of the mixer, right? And now you're just left with your drum bus, your drum bus, and your band bus. And you know, if you need a if you need a vocal bus and you don't have one, then just create it, route it to your mix bus, and then and then here you have a vocal mixing template. And then you just go to file. Um, save as template and name it vocal template right and then you're done you know and then you got vocal template like this is all this is all very this is all very basic straightforward stuff guys so this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com you guys keep it simple do not be basic and we will see you on the next one